make sure they're up to it for this next match. Meanwhile, the atmosphere here at the Mo International Sports Centre Kasarani is building up. It's more lively, fans are trickling in, and even we, the commentators, are getting more animated. Well, that is true. After those delicious hamburgers supplied by Zuku, we have enough energy to take you through the afternoon. So Mamba will keep up uh, proceedings. Dita Kefa. That looked like a knock on. Yes, it is indeed. So, first scrum down to Mwamba, Edgar Berre to feed in the ball. Look for the French team to put a lot of pressure on Mwamba, but they held on well. Takefa looks up and sees no sweeper. Perhaps it would have been better served keeping the ball in hand. Put a rush of blood to the head, perhaps. very competitive one of the most mentally strong people you meet there's one player Bomba will need in a big match like this it is someone like Kefa it's a good line out and they also put the ball to good I think that's wasted possession the lineup was on the other side of the 22. They have not gained much in terms of meters. Very strange decision there by the Frenchman. Strange indeed. But the play continues. Eh? Taking the line on throw from Wamba RFC is another experienced player, Edgar Berry, a former Kenya 7th trialist. And after all that planning, they executed perfectly. Jumba seems to have recovered from his injury in the previous match. But he calls it could take by an assault. Looking for space on the outside, it's Marov. It was knock on. I saw it once more. Good strength in the tackle. Cut pass. Thought about it, Vane. At least did about 15 meters, ducking and weaving. They did well to get that ball back. You don't have too many numbers. And it's the strength. And of Willy go all the way. Intercepted by Peter Kefa. Jumba. Step. Now they've got numbers. One more pass. Surely must go all the way. Oh, that. Ferry Cup calls it forward. But Ferry did well. The movement of the hands suggested that pass probably went backwards. But Grenoble survived. Step. It's 
لك النو كونت لوك فيري ليجل الريفري هاز كولد بلاي باك فور نو كونت The match remains as close a contest as ever. We're midway through the first half, Grenoble 0, Mwamba 0. Well, just about get it out. And Sardi. Stress from the soul. Gabere pushed away unceremoniously. Good strength. Good, Good recovery. And the big man, the Page takes it, and that is just brute strength and power. Walked out of a tackle. And Le Page scores the first try for the noble. Nothing fancy about it. Great recovery. Benjimwani and get out of my way. See you. So, as the stadium announcer has just said, it's Grenoble 7, Wamba 0. Grenoble with the kickoff looking to extend their lead, Wamba looking to have a reply. I don't think this kickoff will go. It just beats the 10 meter line and play resumes. Referee Constant Cup giving the advantage to Grenoble. Calls for the infringement. Only I could understand his hand signals, but I can't. Well, Cap, that hand signal means penalty. It's rather obvious. <laughs> but you said you could understand them. There's the movement of the hands in addition to the hand signal. Ah, okay. That meant uh, we're moving forward to the spot of the infringement. <laughs> Thank you for schooling me. You're most welcome. So it's Grenoble who knocked the ball on, unfortunately. He looks really tired after scoring his try. Yes, he does. That's the Hutia. So this is the final play of the first half. It's a penalty to Mwamba right at the Hutia. Will they be ambitious enough to attack from here? Yes, they will. But with those straight passes, it may cost them off the post. Well, that is the most fortuitous try you will see in rugby. And he's very happy with it. Kaire. Duly accepts the gift. Mamba have made their task even harder. Talk about seize the day, quite literally. That is true. Well done by Kaire, but Mamba again seemed very tentative on what they wanted to do. And the kick through by O'Leary. Your noble got through. So it's Grenoble. Two scores ahead. 14 points to nil.
I think Coach Meli Wanipuli was telling his team to relax, but not in that manner because they're already 14 nil down, but probably mentally because they're giving the, op the opponents the opportunity to boss them all around. Second half about to get underway. In Kenyan speak, the word relax can have very many connotations. Is it take it easy? Or is it stay calm? Is it play hard but stay calm? Anyway, it's uh, Mamba who gets a very good kickoff and they can go straight into the attack from here. Is that an intentional knockdown? No. Free cup says scrambled to Mamba. And that's been the story of Mamba's rugby so far. Bit of a dart by Shaban, but really not looking to take the gap. And they need to put this French team under some pressure when they have the ball. And he calls this scrum to be set. Worked on the ground earlier and it's firmed up quite a bit. And it should be perfect for running rugby. Very blocking and weaving. Oh, he's gone. Jeremy Chiwani opening Mamba's account, seizing on an opportunity and turning on the afterburners to touch down from a relatively kickable position. And there he is again with his celebration, but it seems the lawnmower hasn't started. Peter Kefa coming for the conversion. It was the mistake by Nassau to try and go into the ruck that allowed Jeremy Chimoni just a bit of a peek at the blind side. But he needed no second invitation. But Peter Kefa and this game is now well and truly on. Chimoni looks like he has an interesting barber. I used to have dreadlocks once. Tell me more about it. No, that was in the past. The future is what we need to look forward to. And we're right looking now. forward to the end of this game. That is correct. Coach Meli Wanibuli, the Mamba RFC coach, observing the proceedings. He is from Fiji, for those of you who just like to know his country of origin. Grenoble, come away with it. That's a long kick deep into Mamba's half. Stays in. Well, Mamba attack from here. Great chase. Very good chase by Grenoble. Came up in the line. Prevented Mamba coming through by Jumba now. Breaks through one tackle. Sets play up on the Mamba 10 meter line. Good pass. Timwani. Referee calls it forward. It's a very tight call.
hands move backwards, that pass is fine. That is, that's a legitimate pass. The pass backwards, referees called it. Perhaps Constant Cap is one of the top referees in the country, but at times many do accuse him of being, of being a bit too pedantic. And he, you know, it looks for, I mean, you, you can't measure forward pass with a ruler. So, you know, you give the benefit of the doubt at times to the attacking team. Because the more rugby we see being played, the better it is. However, I, I heard a quote, um, there's a thin line between meticulous and pedantic. Mambo, you are a well-read man. I wish I was you. But knock on by Grenoble and Mwamba get a scrummed out. This is now a crucial time in the game with two minutes left in this match. Mwamba can get the score, then it will throw the game to a very interesting place. And it's now a foot race. Great cover. He needed to be sharp and smart on that and he did it. Very good work. Grenoble take their time. That looks illegal. It is illegal indeed. You, know, you must support your own body weight. So Grenoble will try and wind down the clock as much as possible. Probably go for touch. Yes, it looks like they are going for touch. That is a very good kick from a tight angle. Taking play to almost halfway. It's like that get out of jail card in the game of Monopoly. Some breathing space for Grenoble. That is true. So, Mamba. Well, almost lost that. But Grenoble will get it back. Coming across 30 seconds left in the match. Grenoble kick yet again. Will that stay in or will it go over? No, it doesn't. So Jumbo has to play it. 15 seconds left in the match. Can Mamba run the length of the field? It's called the try that will take this match into extra time. Money. A great tackle. Knocked on in the tackle. And that is that. Mamba just coming up short. It is Grenoble. We merge winners by 14 points to 7. They did just enough to be able to get into the, the final.